The wildfires and extreme drought are drying up a local nonprofit. The Santa Fe Raptor Center is taking in more birds of prey than ever, and their resources are going fast. News 13's Cole Miller is live in Santa Fe with more. Cole? Jessica, it has been a busy season here at the Santa Fe Raptor Center. They're taking in more birds than they can feed. And you can see these green pens behind me. There are currently 35 different raptors inside of them. Check out the newest arrival. These Swainson's hawks are just a few weeks old and were found alone in the wild near Carlsbad. The center's director, Lori Paras, says their parents likely couldn't feed them due to the drought. Wildfires raging across the state are also causing birds to be left behind, many times still in the nest. In her 14 years rescuing and rehabilitating birds of prey, Paras says conditions now are worse than ever. These little guys have a long road ahead of them. In two months, they need to be in shape to make a migration to Argentina. Paras says that's not possible without a lot more help. I don't know how else to say it. Money is the most important thing that we need. I feel like I, I want to take care of the, the wild animals in the state of New Mexico. And when people send money in, they are feeding birds. The nonprofit's food bill for May alone was more than $4,000. In addition to the hawks, there's a pelican, two types of owls, and a golden eagle here at the Raptor Center. And the center's biggest success story comes uh, from a golden eagle they found in April. They found it. It had been electrocuted, and it couldn't fly for more than six months. It was released near Taos and has now logged over 600 miles. They're hoping for a similar story with these three hawks. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Cole. The center says this year could be their busiest. They are, of course, accepting donations.